don't see us. Dan, under the starboard! He's all mine. Coming in you, Elmo. Five o'clock. Crossing the port, Dan! Mr. Max, sir. Reveille. Brandy, hit the men up. Okay, you guys, on your feet. Roll call. Tony, let's go. Roll call. Talk to the girl in the outer office. She'll make an appointment. We don't have dreams. You don't. <laughs> I had a ringside table at the Cafe Rouge in a hotel, Pennsylvania. Jimmy Dorsey's on the bandstand. I've got this real cute little doll we're really jiving. Helen O'Connell is singing just of me. Damapola? Green Eyes? <laughs> my mother once bought me some Jimmy Dorsey records. I've had 17 years of your mother. Keep her out of my dreams, huh? All right, let's get started, Tony. Oh, yes, sir, Captain. Right, Captain. Is that an order, Captain? Yes, sir. Knock it off. We made ourselves an agreement. We voted. Until we're found, baseball, three times a day. You agreed. I didn't know it was going to go on for 17 years. Ain't none of us knew that. Go figure how many innings of baseball we jogged out there. You're up first. Boy, you ain't gonna walk out of here. Should we learn the first years, no matter how far, how long you walk? Just keep on going round in circles and you end up right back here. Hey, you are the captain that's here at bats. Leave him alone. Baseball. 
behind you. Look at that bird. She is really something. It's not military. Do you think they saw us? I mean... That happens to be a very pertinent question. Coming back. Well, I don't know about you guys, but. You got it? All they need is a number on the tail. It's odd. That dry bed lake isn't on any of our charts. There's always not much of interest on this plateau to anyone. Hey, it will be now. You think the Americans would have found that plane years ago? Oh, hardly. And when they do, they paint derelict across the wing. <laughs> I wonder who they got to spell it for them. Okay, kid, they've gone. I'll be back. Maybe not them, but others. I can feel it in my bones. That's a pretty good trick in view of our present condition. The good Lord ain't gonna let us stay here. What did you do that for? Game's over, kid. It's just a matter of time before we're out of here. Five of us. Five out of six. Yeah, well, nobody's got time to worry about Hamner. At least we're still together. He's probably at the bottom of the Mediterranean. Whose is this? Uh, mine. Okay, mm -hmm. stole it where it belongs. I don't remember. Well, think. I ain't taking orders from you, Sergeant. Mac, when those people get here, I'm going back to the States. Now, maybe not first class with the brass bands playing, but... We're all going home. Right! But let's make sure. All they'll find is a plane. They don't know where we jumped, where we are now, nothing. We've got to help them find us. Mac. We start with the plane. Everything exactly like it was. Brandy, you take the cockpit. Tony? Roger, the radio. What about the diary? It's right. It's out there somewhere. What about Hamner? What about him? He's got a station, too. Just like it was before he jumped. He should have stayed with us. We could have made it. We'll make it now. Going home. Hey, that's nice. Going somewhere again where flowers grow. Listening to rain. Water. Winter. Snow. <laughs> you have to feel sorrow for a man like that. Never saw his parachute open. 3,000 feet. Smack into the sea. Yeah, well, he's there and we're here. But he's just as dead as the rest of us. Glad Hamlet's not out of town on some business. We can get it straight from the source. 
I'm a jerk for letting you talk me to a pointless rhyme in the way. We have his earlier statement. His impressions had to be far fresher then than they are now. Joe, the memories that sharpen and crystallize over the years. Sometimes a moment of crisis, a second of fear, anything. Throw some sorely needed light on it. Yeah, but I'm worried about drawing heat, not light. Having qualms about handling the big brass? We didn't have to come all the way to Georgetown. We could have waited till morning, gone through channels. That plane came down 700 miles from where it was reported lost. Look, Dez, if you want to bow out from this investigation, just give me the but word. There isn't time to get anybody else. Besides, there are five families waiting 17 years for some kind of answer. All right, but do yourself a favor. Don't get all tangled in your own hang-up. In cases like this, Colonel, it's hang-ups that make me a specialist. Election year, you uh, gentlemen are on the spot. It doesn't come under the same category as standing eyeball to eyeball with a hostile foreign power. Uh, I think we all share a very challenging responsibility in these days. General, I'll bet you received one of those ribbons for diplomacy under fire. <laughs> Russ, there are two offices here from the Inspector General's office. I can't believe it. It couldn't be my plan. An enlargement of the nose section. You can make out the figure of a baseball player. There must have been hundreds of, thanks, hundreds of planes in World War II that used baseball players as emblems. On our own base, there were three or four. Oh, uh, yes, sir. Uh, we don't expect to make a positive identification until we reach the crash site. Within Libyan Desert, 300 miles south of Benghazi. It couldn't be the home run. She came down the sea off the coast of Sicily. We have your statement at the time you were rescued, sir, but uh, even then you didn't say positively you saw the plane go down. It could have flown on, but I just can't believe it. So, so, so fantastic. All we have are you and the plane. I was in the water for 36 hours, 30 miles from shore. Yes, sir, that's what the file has shown up to now. Colonel Grant, I imagine you and Major uh, Dublin will be flying out to Libya to conduct your investigation? Yes, sir, as soon as we can arrange transport to Wheelis Air Base. Good. I'll see that you fly out tonight. Thank you, sir. Russ, I uh, don't want this to grow into a big public relations hassle. I think maybe you uh, better fly off with these guys. In many cases, it's proved valuable for surviving crew members to assist the investigating team. Yes, of course. Only I'm uh, supposed to be on Turkey to inspect those new missile sites. That's a week off. <laughs> we fly out tonight. A day to get to the wreck, another day or two to wind things up, and uh, this I can be an anchor in plenty of time. That doesn't give us much leeway. That's all the time we have. Yes, sir. Naturally, I want to do whatever I can. I was certain you'd feel that way, General. After all, you flew with them. Get something? You know, Mr. Mack, Tony, well, he does a lot of grabbing about the ball games. But many a night here, I thank the Lord you've been a ball player. Me too. Pretty good. Oh, she's only 18. After section ready for inspection. Forward section's ready for inspection. I go out a day's work. Well done. I don't. There's still a little matter of what's under the tail. There's no time, Tony. We take time. This has a familiar ring. For 17 years, you've been trying to get us to dig you out from under that tail. All we have to do is find my dog tags. You're in a lot better shape than the rest of us. At least you are here with the plane. Gant, I give you my word. I ain't going no place without the rest of you guys. <laughs> The 
smoothest riding vehicle in the world, is it? Yeah. Too bad it didn't come through with factory air conditioning. According to our guide, no traveler should be without this. Guaranteed to pick up the heartbeat, cool down the blood. But a godforsaken furnace. Yes, sir. I don't understand how you find your way in this wasteland. Oh, one oil survey after another for the past 15 years. First time I've been asked to guide an airplane hunt. And our problem is these wrecks usually pop up on a mountaintop at 30 below, or one of these remote stretches of sand. Cheer up, old man. Someday you might get one smack in the middle of the shores of these eggs. <laughs> no, I told you, I ain't giving it up. You had the man. My father gave it to me. You left it in the plane, it goes back now. You do it or we do it for you. Better hurry up. We're about to have company. All right, fall in. Where's Gant? Gant? That harmonica is evident. Where is it? Out there, somewhere. I threw it away. Later, come on. I'm scared. Relax, kid, you're wrong friends. Fall in. Ten hut. Guys look like death warmed over. I got news for you. Addy, Sergeant. Nobody falls out until I give the order. Place for a tombstone. Are we still not sure that it's my plane? We'll soon find out. I wish it could talk. Fall out. Dead. We're really dead. Looks that way. You can let go of me now. Hamner.
130257. That was the number of the home run. Don't much look like him. He's old. If I may interrupt, gentlemen, right now it's daylight. At this latitude, we can expect that in uh, 25 minutes it'll be quite dark. Thank you. I don't know. It's him, and it isn't. If it is him, he lived. Your record, this is my plane. No question about it. Impossible as it may seem, none. It is him. This cushion. It's mine. I bought it in Benghazi. Yeah. Yeah, I, I was with him. He lived. He lived! days I've been in this world. Ain't nothing ever shook my faith in the Lord. But boy, it certainly got shook today. Yeah. I thought I'd be going home. See my mother. I checked the trucks. Not a box in sight. Not even gonna look for us. Why? Ask him. farther, Russ. Pilot to navigator, over. Pilot to navigator, over. Don't worry, Mac. I'll set you right on top of the target. Stand by for IP. Ticket leader to Tickens. Stand by for IP. Check your guns. Not great, kid. You too. Okay, we're in business. Not abandoned. Possible. They said this. 
this was a milk run. Maybe they won't see us. Yeah, fat chance. At least we got company. IP. IP, repeat. IP, out. Maintain present course and speed. Begin descent to 4,000. Still pulling out that engine. Drop those bombs. Land back there. Head 270. Gift wrap this bird for the Nazis. We'll go back to Benghazi. Don't be a fool. You don't know how much fuel you have left, whether you can hold trim. Anyway, be smart. Hamner, get off this intercom and figure a course to Benghazi. That's an order. Elmo, 6 o'clock. Take the load. Faster, Mr. Lincoln. Pushing 300 now. jumped here. Uh, we'd been driven out of our formation by hostile fighter planes. The pilot was taking violent, evasive action to avoid destruction of the aircraft. I, uh, I didn't have time to plot our exact position. Then you would say that this was your approximate position. That is correct. And we are here, 700 miles south. Explain that, Hamner. According to the record, General, this plane and a crew were reported as missing in action after a night jump over the Mediterranean, with only one survivor. No wonder they weren't looking for us. 
I want to make sure that your airman gets all this, so if I go too fast... He'll keep up. You understand this is purely routine. Let's just get on with it, Colonel. First, sir, we'd like to review exactly what happened. <laughs> exactly. Well, I have a reputation for total recall, but uh, after 17 years, I'm not sure I can perform that well. Of course. You just tell us what you can. Our target was here. Messina. We went in at sunset. We led the first wave and were attacked. The starboard engine was hit, caught fire. Mac pulled... That's Captain MacDonald. Pulled out of formation. So far, so good. We tried to put out the fire. I dropped the bombs to prevent damage. We were attacked again and... Uh... And at that point you jumped? Yes. The pilot gave the order to abandon. That is correct. That's a lie. You said nobody was... He's lying, man. We stayed. Sit down. Well. Major Devlin and I have some technical reports to fill out. Why don't you try and find yourself a shadier spot? I can stand the sun, Colonel. Very good, sir. I'll stretch my legs. If you need me, Grunky. Yes, sir. Your hands must be pretty sticky by now, Joe. What with this heat and the kid gloves you've been using. You don't approve of the way I'm conducting this investigation? But what are you trying to do, set a speed record? You had your chance to bow out back at Georgetown. Colonel, you can send me home anytime you like. Back off. Coming on too strong. This fellow's got stars on his collar. Take it easy. Easy? There still might be five bodies out there somewhere. There's only one problem. They don't have any generals pushing for them. Major Devlin, you'll make an investigation of this aircraft to ascertain if said aircraft could have flown 700 miles without a living soul on board, eh? <laughs> These canteens still have water in them. Have a drink, Joe? You out of your head? It's not even sour or brackish. You know, the coffee's still drinkable. Don't you get a feeling of... of time just hanging here, suspended all these years? Tell me, you absolutely sure nobody else could have been here before us? Well, hardly, old man. The guns are still on the plane. Hey, there are men who pay for these guns in Benghazi, in Algiers. For one gun, I have $1,000 American. Yes, we were not here to discuss the economics of gun running. I'm sure General Hamner has more important things waiting for him. Thank you, Colonel. The container's empty. That should tell you something, Major. Well, it looks like the crew might have made an orderly jump over the water. I'd put it stronger. Add it up. Loose gear stowed away, traps jettisoned, all water survival gear removed. Including the rubber boat. The boat. Uh, make a note, too, that the rubber boat container was closed. I don't get the significance. Colonel, it all adds up to what I said 17 years ago. We jumped over the Mediterranean. Okay, whose bright idea was it to take the boat? Yours. Mine? Mm-hmm. You said we were over water. Yeah, and these guys are rapidly becoming believers. We gotta find that boat. What for? Well, they're ready to confirm that we jumped with Hamner. We need something to prove that we came down in this desert. It's got you stumped. I guess it comes under the heading of field modification. A personal field modification by the waist gunner for his harmonica. I used to get pretty tired of Gant's rendition of Take Me Out to the Ball Game. Music to drop bombs by. Was the harmonica in the airplane? No, the rack was empty. He never went anywhere without it. He even slept with it. Evidence. I never thought. Don't that... look for it. Now? Look, 
The report says that we jumped with Hamner. Hamner's got that colonel believing it, and now the rubber boat proves it. So what do we need to tell him that we jumped in the desert? What? A harmonica? Well, it's something, damn it. Look. Go find it. Now. This sure doesn't come into the category of original equipment. Well, you'd better show it to the colonel. Colonel, what about these? Uh, those belong to Captain McDonald, the pilot. He was a ball player. Chicago Cubs farm system, 1937. Transferred to the American League, Cleveland Indians, 1939. Played two seasons. Enlisted in 41. Well, you've done your homework. Research general. McDonald's lifetime batting average was 236. He didn't have much luck at the plate. He didn't have much luck, period. He was a good man, Major. A good pilot, a good commander. Yes, sir. Remember, I flew 22 missions with Mac and this crew. We almost died together. But you didn't. No, we didn't. Colonel, I'd like to take these back with me as uh, as remembrance. You hear that? He's our heart. If you have no objection. No, of course not, sir. None whatsoever. They're yours. Not anymore. Spectacularly. Makes you wonder how we did it. It's simple, we got lost. Now we're here. We jumped, say, how far back? Couldn't be more than 10, 15 miles. Yeah, about. Let's go. What for? The boat. We get the boat, we bring it back here. It's got a number on it. Now, if we really jumped in the drink with Hamner, what's the boat doing back here? It's a good question. You want to vote on it? No, I'll go. We'll all go. No, I want you to stay here. Hey, you guys! I found it. Hey, give it to me. You go with Mac. Hey, but... Don't worry about it. Yeah, Let's but... Get... Punishment. I'll see you later. I sure hope they can find it. They will. I mean, suppose we can't act. Suppose something stops us from interfering. Understand? What's the matter, Lieutenant? Don't you believe in ghosts?
Oh, I'm terribly sorry, sir. I didn't mean to disturb you. Yes, come in, Colonel. I was just reminiscing. You know how it is. After all these years, seeing the plane coming out here. Yes, sir. I imagine it's quite an ordeal for you. Frankly, Colonel, it's painful for me. We, um, as myself and the crew, we lived, laughed, cried, and fought together. They, they were also dedicated. A drink? Oh, thank you. Thank you, General. You know, Major Devlin and I have worked together before. We merely compile a set of facts. There's probably no other area of activity in the Inspector General's office as routine as this. Well, I'm here to help. Here's luck. <clears throat> How long have you been in the service, Colonel? 18 years, sir. Well, well, lifetime pension coming up. Got it made, haven't you? The service has been good to me, sir. Yes, for those of us who survived the war years, the peaceful years, service can be a rewarding career. It's something to think about, isn't it, Colonel? Yes, sir, it certainly is. And I want you to know that I'll do everything in my power to get us out of here as quickly. That's all right, Colonel. That plane and the men who flew there deserve a few days of our time. To them. To them, sir. What's the matter with you? I feel like nah, you can't feel. You're not supposed to feel. You've been dead 17 years. Yeah, we've been dead for 17 years. And there they are, picking over our plane as though it were more important than we are. Well, if they knew we were here, they'd be picking over our bones. My bones should be in Arlington. Yeah, I know. You told us. Sorry. Fourth generation. Yeah. Four. Four generations of West Pointers, all artillerymen, and me, I had to be the rebel. I had to fly. Yeah, my old man thought I was nuts, too. Hey, what's the matter, you? You want to be a hero? You still got a milk on your mouth. Don't rush. Don't rush. You know, if I had to listen to him, I'd be a first-class pants presser. Well, Tony, old boy, I guess we're just both losers. Would you say that we made a few wrong decisions during our short lives? Unlike my old buddy, General Hamner. afternoon, Dad. Huh? Dad? It's too fast, Joe. We hold up Hamner, we'll have to answer to General Sherman, every other brass hat in the Pentagon. All the wrecks you and I have crawled over, we've never hit one like this. Everything right where it belongs is just too neat. That doesn't bother you? Seeing ghosts, Devlin? Well, maybe I am. We're here to make a factual analysis. Anything more, you keep to yourself, understood? Yes, sir. I want a report, 
a down-the-line report. Nothing more, no curves. Come on, Colonel, you can't mean that. <laughs> you bet your life I do. I enlisted 18 years ago. I was just a kid. No parents, no relatives, drifting from one neighbor to the next. A public pain in the butt without benefit of the barest human consideration. I was a charity case from the day I was born to the day I put this uniform on. The military saved my life. What has that got to do with Hamner? Everything to do with Hamner, because he represents the power of the system. That means hands off. <laughs> Don't you understand, Evelyn? Eh? The system's been good to me. I don't want to fight it. There's nothing heroic in getting your teeth knocked out. I've got two more years to go for my pension. I've got the rest beat. I'm ahead of the pack. I'm not locking horns with any brigadier general. What are you looking at? That's the system, Devlin. I didn't design it. Neither did you. And we can't change it. Life is hard enough. The wind blows the wrong way, a bum break, and it's all over. Write the report. Let's get out of here. You, me, and General Hamner. All trapped by the past. You'll have your report. The flying characteristics of this aircraft with single engine failure are exceptionally good. The aircraft need not be abandoned unless the fuel is depleted. Yes, well, we're not here to question why the pilot chose to abandon. We only want to know how this particular airplane came to be here. I imagine your examination will confirm the record. Well, this is it. Major. Not quite. What kind of an answer is that? You give a simple yes or no. You're not thinking of asking for additional time. Examination suggests the crew abandoned over water. Well, of course they did. The water survival equipment is missing from the plane. All the desert survival gear is still in the plane and intact. The conclusion, then, is obvious. It hurts, but you've got to agree with him. Colonel, I should like to point out that my examination does not necessarily confirm the record. He's for us. Facts, Major. Couldn't this aircraft have flown 700 miles unmanned? It could not. For example, the fuel. It isn't automatically transferred from one wing to the other. Someone would have to pump it. What remained in the left wing is enough to carry the aircraft over 500 miles. But what about the fuel that remained in the right wing? It would have stayed there. Somewhere along the way, General, that right wing would have weighed a good half ton more than the left. She would have gone into a turn and come down. No wing is ever exactly symmetrical with its opposite. An increase in weight can bring an increase in lift. That's theory. Are you qualified to cite practical experience? I see no wings on your chest. <laughs> Forgive me, it's, uh, it's this heat. We could take that break now. No, no, we, we keep going. Major, if you have no other points you wish to cover. General, you said there was enough fuel in this plane to carry it 500 miles. We're 700 miles from where you jumped. We had a tailwind of about uh, 40 knots, which would add an additional 160 miles or more to the range of the aircraft. There was a tailwind? Yes. At what altitude? We approached the target at roughly 6,000 feet. And at what altitude did the aircraft return? I have no way of knowing. Then you have no way of knowing what winds it met on its return voyage. 
True. But uh, your fuel computations are based on a given weight for the aircraft. Uh, six men represent over a thousand pounds. Lost that weight extends the range considerably. For all we know, five of the six were still in that plane. That has the ring of an accusation. It was meant as a speculation. We're not here to speculate. Strike out Major Devlin's remark. Now forget it, Colonel. Just, just finish what you came here for. Yes, sir. We'll take that break now. Major Devlin. Write up your report. I want either a confirmation or a denial of this record. Signed by you. Devlin wants Hamner's hide as bad as we do. I thought we'd really had it. It's not over yet. I mean, before Hamner's finished, he'll have that plane taking off by itself and us drinking beer in Benghazi. something that the Air Corps was fooling around with back in the States. Uh, a hella... Helicopter, I think they call it. <laughs> I don't care what they call it. If that guy doesn't grow wings, he's gonna fall down. Gee, I've never seen a plane crash before. Finally, after 17 years. Company. <laughs> company? <laughs> Shoot. Another outfielder in the first baseman for Mac. <laughs> <laughs> Bringing beer. Cold beer. General? I have some dispatches that came in for you, sir. Thank you, Lieutenant. Yes, sir. up and straight down. I wonder if this is the only progress the human race has made in 17 years. General. Thank you, Major. Uh, Patrick, take that other file over to my tent. General? Thank you. Joe? Thank you. You read my mind. I uh, hate to interfere with anyone's pleasures, but uh, we're going to have to complete these findings as rapidly as possible. I must leave sooner than I planned. How soon is that? At the latest, first thing in the morning. We need more time. We are not going to get it. All we can accomplish here is to tie off a loose end of ancient history. My concern is with the future. Sometimes the future is determined by the past. Major, in the time we still have left, I would advise you to concentrate your efforts to a consideration of your own future. Better get busy on that report. Why don't you take up fighting generals as a way of life? You want to make him happy? You sign the confirmation. Just leave me out of it. Like you said, it's ancient history. No question of security, nothing. Life and death, nobody cares. I care. I know Hamner's lying. Hamner didn't shoot down that aircraft. He's got an excellent record. What do you want? I want the truth. Maybe not for myself, 
But for five guys who never made it back to be big men at the Pentagon or any place else. Please, Devlin. The Libyan desert is no place to make waves. It's probably blood. Hard to tell after all this time. I can understand how a man can be totally centered on his own job, to the exclusion of everything else. <laughs> I've been guilty of that myself. From where I sit, sir, I don't get too good a look at the big picture. From where I sit, I'm sometimes not quite so sensitive of human feelings. You must forgive me if I was a little bit short with you. You hardly laid a glove on me, sir. Uh, General Merwin sent me some excellent Polish vodka. I prefer not to drink alone. Sometimes. Just sometimes, I'm happy to oblige a general. <laughs> We've had it. He's buying Devlin. We'll just have to get Hamner ourselves. Not we, Brandy. Me. Hamner belongs to me. Um, I didn't ask for any of this. No, well, General, I wouldn't say you're the kind of a man who would ask for anything. <laughs> Sit down, Major. <coughs> I was wondering what the uh, procedure would be if your report said that the B-25 could not have flown in her alone. Oh, I'd start over again. Establish how many of the crew remained, where they actually jumped. Well, that'd take time. Got all the time in the world. I don't. No, we won't keep you. You've given us all you're going to give us. All I can give you, Major. When hmm? I fly out of here tomorrow, I want us all to go. You don't think we can get on without you, eh? <laughs> I prefer to control my own destiny, Major. I'm not sure that I care to trust my career to junior officers. General, we weren't discussing careers. We could discuss yours. Surely you don't enjoy digging into other people's tragedies, exposing other people's mistakes. I find it a highly useful function. Delusions of grandeur. You set yourself up in judgment of those who have laid it all on the line. That must take guts. There are all kinds of courage, General. Sometimes it takes a special brand to admit that you're less than you'd hoped you'd be. What did you learn? On the ground, flying a desk at the Pentagon? I've been where the action is up there. Leading formations, dodging flak, fighting MiGs, making decisions, with thousands of lives hanging in the balance. OK, maybe I haven't logged your flight time, but I've been up there. And I've been one place you've been, on the edge of panic. It was a training flight in California. My engine cut out. I jumped. 75 gallons of high-octane fuel hurtling down in a grammar school. I hung out there at the end of my chute. Watched those kids running and screaming in every direction. You did what you had to do. It's not that easy. You saved your own life. It's the strongest instinct in the world, self-preservation. I can look it square in the eye. I could have put that plane into a glide pattern. Two minutes more, I'd, I'd have been out over the water. It's in the past. Done. It's never done. You've got to face it and go on from there. Do your own penance, Devlin. But don't put me up on that cross with you. It's not me. It's what's inside your own head. I can still see those kids running and screaming. For you, it's something else. Nothing, nothing, nothing. nothing. The voices of your crew, this crew, calling you. No, no! I'm not your enemy, General. Well, don't make me yours. What happened to that plane, that crew, is finished. Dead and buried. Dead, yes. Buried, no.
So here we go into the ninth inning in Los Angeles. A 7 7 tie ball game. And the bottom of the ninth with Maury Wills to start it off. Maury struck out, grounded out twice, and got a board out of field as Joyce. Devlin. But don't put me up on that cross with you. It's not me. It's what's inside your own head. It's in the past. Done. It's never done. You've got to face it. Face it. Face it. you just joined us here in Los Angeles. The Dodgers and the Giants rolling in the dirt again in a 7-7 tie. The seventh meeting of the year, the Dodgers have won four and lost three. Worthington with a 3-3 record looks into Big Bob Schmidt behind the plate. Redhead into the windup. We confirm the record and then we go home. Said that the first day, we've been framed. We just underestimated Hamner. A lot of good that harmonica's going to do us. If Mac doesn't get back with that boat, he'll miss the ball game. Mr. Mac, ever think about what you'd be doing now if we'd have gotten out of here? Well, I probably would have tried baseball. I don't know if I'd have made it, though. I'm sure you would have. But my daddy's a minister, and he told me all you have to do is believe. And if you do, the Lord stands right beside you. Oh. Well, then how come, no matter how hard I prayed or how hard I tried, I couldn't hit a high inside fastball? It just blew right by me. Oh, well, you were just starting out. Sooner or later, you would have hit it. <sighs> well, we'll never know that, will we? Come on, Corporal. Let's find that boat. slept with it. Are you a musician, Major? I used to play one as a kid. Beto and I are going to hop back to Jarlow, the bloody water pump on the lorry packed up. Well, you're not going to drive in tonight. It's much cooler. When there is a moon, the sand looks like a long sea. It's not just poetry. Well, hardly. I've flown over the desert many times at night. You'd swear you could see Waves on the surface, even movement. It's rather uncanny. Not just uncanny. It's downright tragic. Five regulation enclosures for the remains of military dead. File under excess baggage. I want more time, Joe. Well, you know me, Dev. Bring me facts. We've got Hamner. Do we? One push. Now, one push, that's all he needs. I don't want his hide, Devlin. To me, he's your friendly neighborhood one-star general. In almost 20 years, I've learned to live with the breed. Not his kind. I smelled it on him. I've been there myself. I don't need you to sign that report. I can do it myself. You've been a tower of strength all the way. 
Don't you question my courage. I've got the battle scars to prove it. That was a different Joe Grunke. The one standing before me is a half-baked politician. Now, you can bust me down, up, or sideways. I'm not going to whitewash your friendly one-star neighborhood general. I want that report tomorrow, before that chopper takes off. You'll have your report tomorrow. I still want dog tags on those sacks. How? By putting all the sand in this desert through a sieve? Coming in you, Elbow. Five o'clock. Crossing the port! Get it! Faster, Mr. Mack. They're cutting us off. We're pushing for you now. Elmo, six o'clock. Take the lower. Oil pressure drop. Pull the CO2. How was the ball game, Elmo? Yeah, it was all right. Oh, come on. You can do better than all right. Well, things must have changed an awful lot back home. Uh, maybe I shouldn't tell you. What? Well, I don't know how they worked it, but Brooklyn is now in Los Angeles. Forget it. Tony, 15 minutes. No! Wait, wait, wait. That's all you guys ever think. Out there in the desert. Wait for rain. Wait for help. <laughs> but when somebody had to find a plane for water, who was the sucker? I made it. Four days on my hands and knees. How did I know this tail section was just hanging there? Crawled under it. A canteen of water. Smack. You really want to dig up your own? I want my dog tags. That's proof. Proof positive. Count me out. Me too. We've got eight hours left. Fellas, please. I don't want to do it alone. Boat. What about the boat? It's still there. We never made it. You had to. Tony, every time we tried anything, we kept coming back. Just like all the times we tried to walk out of this place. We never got more than a mile or two away. We couldn't get to the boat. They're leaving tomorrow. Not all of them. Where are you going? To get Hamner. It won't make any difference now. You only get half. Well, I'm taking a half that breathes. No, break it up. Here's your chance.
this time, General. I found it. That doesn't prove anything. Well, it's a start. The first step. You are not going to get me. Not with some lousy two-bit mouth organ. Well, that's not what I want. Don't try to take me on, Devlin. Hmm? Stepping out of your class. We have something in common. No, I never panicked in my life. I have never taken a single action. I didn't think out all along the line, even when you jumped. I knew they'd never make it. I offered them safe heading, they refused to take it. I offered them life, they refused. I jumped, they jumped. I made it, they didn't. I don't know them a thing. They were your crew. Uh, five boy scouts trying to save that hunk of junk. <laughs> Heroes. Heroes. Now, what about you, Devil? Are you, are you trying to even your own score with humanity at my expense? It's not my fight, General. It's theirs. Are they not? Here, in the water, six, seven hundred miles, <laughs> they're not here. Well, if that's true, then you've got nothing to worry about. But if it isn't, they'll never stop haunting you. Vengeance is his. You can't touch me. You had your chance. You wouldn't take it. We're taking this one. You owe us 17 years, Hamner. You were alive. You could eat, drink, breathe, make love. You took that away from us. <laughs> I t tried to save you. You killed us! I've made up for it. How do you balance out five lives? Five lives, five futures knocked out. I couldn't help it. Ah! Stop him!
on the right heading. Keep going, Hammer. Keep going. I saw them. They drove me here. That boat, I, I don't understand. They needed it when they jumped, General. They thought they were over the sea. When they... <laughs> Poor dumb kids. Look, I wanted to live. They all had their parachutes. They didn't have to go through the tunnel. They should have jumped. Imagine those kids missing Benghazi. Any fool could have found it. If that fool had been a trained navigator, he plotted a 42-mile-an-hour tailwind. But you didn't tell the pilot about it before you jumped. That's why the spare water and all the desert survival gear is still aboard the aircraft. Score one for Devlin. It's no score, Joe. It's no pleasure breaking a man. Probably a good man. He made a mistake, that's all. It's just taken him 17 years to face up to it. You made a mistake once. Well, who am I going to hurt in my job? What am I going to do, identify a wrong set of bones? Miss a name on a set of rusty dog tags? Yeah, well, we still got to find some bones and dog tags out here someplace. I think we have a good idea where to look. He drove here like he was homing on a beacon. You know, we should have figured it out before. All the evidence we need had to be on this heading. His subconscious took over. Maybe. And yet, he really thought he saw those men. He did, Joe. Just as I still see those kids in that schoolyard, running, trying to get away from those flames. General, I want you to know that 
we did not set out to damage or destroy anyone. My respect for your career accomplishments is undiminished. Colonel, you are defending the fort even after the enemy has been decimated. <laughs> My accomplishments, your respect. My respect for myself is gone. I'm a general on the record and on the record only. Can't do anything for you or against you. I have been neutralized, Colonel. I've got to find what's left of General Hamler. Stateside, here we come. <laughs> what do you guys bet I beat you home? They're gonna take this crate apart, pack it up, and I'm on my way. They gotta find you guys. Colonel, what do we do with the plane? Burn it? Burn? It's of no military value. Mark it. That's good enough. I'm gonna leave it. Yeah. Let's, let's start off with the assumption they had one canteen of water, they could have gone 50 miles of it. The Arabs would have gone 150. They'd have headed for the coast. So we start searching in here. Good luck. Luck. I murdered five men. You learned to live with it. Try and move the tail. It's the only way. It's a position awaits against us. It's too late. Cleaning up the plane so they'd want to take it back. That way. We know, Tommy. 
Yeah, well, for me. One go, we all go. And for that. <laughs> you guys, come on. One day, some Arab junkman with his camel's gonna come by here. I'll get stateside. I never thought we'd go anyway. Who wants to sit around a cemetery with a lot of people you don't even know? You have spring, flowers, and your mother, she'll come see you Sundays. I lied about my mother. She was... No good, you know. Always oh, moving around. I think the last time I saw her, I was about ten years old. Nobody ever gave me the time of day till they put me on this plane. Now I have to go home. I don't want to go home. This is home. Major, I have to go now. <laughs> there are others around me with, with hands and eyes everywhere. <laughs> Four out of five. Four out of five was a miracle. I didn't expect to find any. Let's go home. There's still one man out here someplace. Dev, you'll never find him. You've got the whole desert to cover. Colonel! Major Devlin! The pilot's diary. Bedu found it. Can you read it? First day. Brandy hurt bad. Spent cold night on sand. 
Very little water. Tony to try to get the plane for supplies, water. Have one canteen for all. Look at the fifth day, Major. Day's very hot. Night's cold. Can't sleep. Water gone. All very sick now. No sign of Tony. He tried to get to the plane. I want one more look. There's no trace of him there. Deb! We wait here for the Major? Don't ask me. I'm only the man in charge. I'm not the guy that believes in ghosts. <laughs> 